greeting, vultures. <laughs> Your meal ticket's here. <laughs> Al Bundy, Al Bundy, Al Bundy. Horrible TV dad. When I was a kid, I loved watching old reruns. I didn't know how old the shows were. They were new to me, but... There was a TV station that we picked up out of Barrie, Ontario, that aired shows like Leave it to Beaver and My Three Sons. Those shows, they actually portrayed dads as wise, caring, responsible. By the time I got to high school, it was Al Bundy and Homer Simpson. Is pop culture part of the problem with how we view fathers? Gavin McInnes is a Canadian writer living in New York and the author of The Death of Cool, joins us now from New York City. And uh, Gavin, you and I are roughly the same age. Did you have the same experience? Dads used to be... The smart guys, the good guys, and, and then they became absolute morons. Yeah, I think it was trial and error. They were just looking for a, an idiot scapegoat, and they tried everyone. We didn't complain when they came up with Archie Bunker, so they said, oh, good, okay, let's make you the stupidest idiots in the world. But Archie Bunker... And he was meant to be the villain in that show. Uh, my friend Ben Shapiro wrote, that, wrote about that in uh, Primetime Propaganda. He spoke to the creators, and they said, yeah, we wanted Meathead to be the hero. But people related to Archie because he seemed like a real guy. I would say that Homer Simpson and uh, the dads from things like Family Guy, Al Bundy, they're not, there's nowhere close to real. But that's the depiction in so many sitcoms, in so many ways. And anything that veers from that... Well, that sickly, sweet, really family Christian-y stuff, you shouldn't watch that. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, Homer is the only guy on that show who couldn't survive in the real world. He would have to be in a home. He's severely mentally handicapped. He in hits himself way. with something many times. So what do you think that this um, does to young men looking at fatherhood? Because... I know that I am not the norm of a lot of the people that I grew up with. There's a lot of people who decided not to have families, not to get married. Uh, There's a good number that did, but not as many as my parents' generation. There's an awful lot of people who just think family's not cool, family's not good. You're the author of Death of Cool. Family's cool anymore? I think that what happened with teenagers, which sort of started in the early 50s, before that it was just a young man, and those early shows you mentioned were about when a 15-year-old was just a young man. Teenagers begot irreverence, and that's fine, but somewhere along the line it went from irreverence to disdain. And now your dad is a stupid moron who doesn't know anything about the world, and I, I mean, I'll take it, fine, fine, I, I'm the dumb guy for your comedy show. But every once in a while, like say maybe Father's Day, it's worth recognizing that we go to bed with a bat next to the bed. So while you're getting all cozy in your duvet, we are ready to fight a teenager to the death in our underwear. <laughs> you wrote about that in a, uh, an online piece in Tacky Mag a while ago. You've actually done that, gotten up in the middle of the night, gone looking for someone that you, you thought you heard someone breaking into your apartment. Many times. And it's not like you're saying, who's there? Like someone's at the door selling cookies. You have the bat and you're thinking, who's there? And you're thinking, am I going to go right for the brain and then I'll try to break his back and then I'll maybe break his legs until the cops come? I mean, your heart is pounding. But these are, this is part of the job of, of fatherhood. And I was trying to describe fatherhood earlier in the show in the monologue. And, you know, it's everything from that to my daughter this morning coming to me and saying, Daddy, can you cut out this circle? I want to make a craft. Uh, it's yes. anything and everything. Uh, the hero, the spider killer. Uh, the guy that, you know, Bill Cosby teach you about money and morals, all, all of those sorts of things come under the role of dad. And, and it's not a job that I'm going to leave anytime soon. So that's part of why I say it's, it's more important than this job, but it's going to stay with me for the rest of my life. Is there a gas smell in the house? Do, should we go to the hospital or is this just a little concussion? Uh, when, where are you going to school? Are you getting a good enough childhood? Can, are you safe enough when you ride around on your bike? I mean, we're around the clock, always on duty. And then you turn on TV and they have a guy, a cartoon of you with a pipe going, oh, 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 come on. Or even, uh, you know, my wife and I used to like watching Everybody Loves Raymond, and he was a nice enough guy, but all he ever was trying to do was sneak away to the golf course. I'd love to yes. golf. I'm completely bad at golf. <laughs> uh, but I, it, it's five hours of walking around in, in uh, the, the fresh air without somebody asking me to do something other than hit a tiny little ball into a tiny cup far away. But I don't do it because well, I don't have the time. I'm working who has the time? Or, or I'm the father. 
I got a call from a, a friend the other day who doesn't have kids, and he goes, you want to play golf on Saturday? And I said, are you insane? That's like saying, do you want to start a metal band with me and go on tour? I don't have a Saturday I can throw away. Oh, man. So you, uh, you and your wife have uh, uh, three kids. Uh, what are your plans for Father's Day? Um, are, are you going to have the, uh, the malformed uh, pancakes and the burnt toast? I'm working on Saturday, and then Sunday morning is pancake morning, where I always make the kids different shaped pancakes. So I'm not going to give up that tradition, but uh, I don't know. I like being a dad. So unlike Mother's Day, where the, their number one rule seems to be get these kids away from me, I'll probably hang out with the kids because I work all week, and I only get to see them two days a week. All right. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun in your house, Gavin. Thanks so much. And, uh, of course, we can pick up your, your book. It's out in paperback now, right? It's just come out in paperback. Yep, you can order it on Amazon. It should be in stores right now. All right, the death of cool. And it has something to do with an adult hangover. Check it out. Gavin McGinnis, always good time.